Listen, Margo, I'm gonna... Do something that's not really in my nature. I'm gonna level with you. Yeah. I wanted Allie, I... I played fast and loose, and I lost people. I'm out. So this is your way back? I can't tell you how much I wish it were. But the truth is, Allie's not enough not to... Not to buy my way back in. And not yours either. He doesn't know you're making this call, does he? Listen, Margot. For what little it might be worth. I got a pretty good idea what it took for you to make this call. How desperate you must be. It's like the man says, huh? Love is whatever you can still betray. Betrayal only happens if you love. Not long ago, emergency workers pulled me out of the flaming wreckage of my Mercury Grand Marquis. All right. Today, you pulled me out of the flaming wreckage of my life, and those flames burned far hotter. Sure. For that, I thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I used to take a tampon, soak it in grain alcohol, and stick it up into my rectum. That got me high, Richard. But not half as high as the drug you just gave me. You know what that drug's called? No. A second chance. What is that? Antibiotics, acetaminophen, iodine tablets, multivitamins. Go ahead. That's everything you asked for, yes? Is uh, your son? Have you thought about letting me examine him? My son is fine. Are you sure? Quite sure. Well, he's had a fever for three days. His arm's broken in two places. He's got cracked ribs and God knows what other internal injuries. So, to answer your question, Ben, I'm, I'm giving him an aspirin. He's the reason we're here in the first place. As long as we have breath in our lungs, we're doctors first. Don't forget that. That's true for the, um, for the hormones. But for the surgery, we still require a letter from someone who has a PhD in psychology just to make sure you meet the requirements for the procedure. I have to ask another person for permission. Yeah, it uh, just covers us for okay. malpractice. And uh, my, my vagina? Is that... Vaginoplasty. My vaginoplasty? Vaginoplasty, That's yet right. another procedure? Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a whole separate procedure. If at all possible, I prefer not to be anesthetized more than necessary. I mean, do I really need to go under uh, yet again? It's a major surgery, and there is significant recovery time on that. Plus, we need to have a specialist on board. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. It is exciting. I, I'm sorry, I promised Updike his chance. Dr. Masters and I have had a bit of a situation with Bob Drag. Uh, as you know, our first book, it was bestseller. Created a huge following, so huge, in fact, Hugh Hefner has just come on board as an investor. Mr. Johnson, is this a, uh, is this a sales pitch? No, no, this is about, it's about Drag. I fear that he may have poisoned the well here at Little Brown. Well, it seems to me that you two did that to yourselves, didn't you? The lawsuit? No, Bob should have made it clear that that would have absolutely no negative impact on the book. Bram Keller has taken the case, and he thinks it could go all the way to the Supreme Court. It could be on the front page of every newspaper in the country. That's free publicity for a book that you could be publishing if it weren't for drag. Bob Drag is barely hanging on here. He wouldn't purposely tank a winner. But he did. And for the most bizarre, petty reason, if you even knew the details. You going to tell me? I would really rather not. You're wasting my time.